This is the uh, seventh grade TCAP practice test, the math section. This is question number five. The question says, which graph best represents the solution to the inequality 4 minus a over 2 is greater than 3? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the problem because it's way in an inconvenient spot where I'm standing anyway. And of course, my handwriting is garbage today. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I do kind of follow a method to solve these sort of things. So the first thing I like to do is draw a line down the inequality. Now I need to find out a way that I can get A by itself. That's my real goal here. So I'm going to move the thing that's the furthest away from the A. And this 2 here, below it, is further away because it's separated by this dividing line. In fact, what this says is 4 minus a, the entire statement, is divided by 2. So I need to get rid of divide by 2. So what I'm going to do there is multiply by 2. So those eliminate. I'm going to bring down 4 minus a. And then I do 3 times 2 gives me 6 on this side. Uh, if you haven't seen the method before and you're interested in doing the equation part maybe in a different way, uh, just go to the other parts of the YouTube channel. I've got algebra videos that talk about it. But we'll continue with this problem. Sorry about that. Um, now I need to see what I need to do to get rid of A, or get A by itself. The furthest thing from A now is the 4, so I need to get rid of plus 4. Now don't get tricked by the fact that there's a minus there. That minus is after the 4. Numbers can't see signs that come after them. They're kind of like... Um, a guy that would ask a girl out every week and she says no. Janine, when you go to the prom? No. Janine, when you go to the prom? No. He can only see what's in his future, not what's in... Uh, he can only see what's in front of him, not what's behind him. So the 4 doesn't even know this minus is there. So it's plus 4. To get rid of plus 4, you need to subtract 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Despite the fact that the 4 couldn't see that minus, I do need to bring it down. So what I'm left with is essentially negative A. What that means, even though you can't see it, is that it means negative 1 times a. So in order to, and by the way, you know it's times because they're touching. If hamsters touch, they multiply. Same things with numbers and variables. If they're touching, they're multiplying. So I need to do the opposite operation to get rid of it. Divide by negative 1. I'm left with a and negative 2. But I have a very important choice that I need to deal with. And that issue is whether or not I need to keep this inequality like it is or flip it over. How I do it is if I multiply or divide, so times or divide by a negative in the last step. Then you flip. Otherwise, leave it alone. My suggestion to you is that you just go ahead and circle those negative ones. You can see that they're negative now. So that means I need to flip it over. So it used to be kind of like a Pac-Man going to the left. I'm going to flip it around so it looks like that. Now, I always read my inequality from the variable side. Don't just go which way the arrow points, even though this time it actually does work. It doesn't always work. I'm going to look at the A and see which side of the inequality it's next to. It happens to be next to the little side. See this part being, this line is big because it represents how far it is from top to bottom. This dot is very small. So A is next to the little side, which means less, which graphing means left. So if I draw my graph, I'm going to go to negative 2, make a circle, and then I'm going to go to the left. So it goes this way. So my answer choice that I need to choose here is D. That's a lot of components to it, but it's not really that complicated of a problem. Just follow the steps, and I think everything should work out fine for you.